Wildlife waterers or wildlife guddlers have been around the state of Texas for decades. It's been used effectively out in the Big Bend in far west Texas as they've reintroduced the bighorn sheep to that area. And you'll find guzzlers up on the plains at the end of the turn row where they're trying to water pheasants for our hunters. And they're used all over the state for a number of different purposes, for different types of wildlife, whether the game species like quail or other game, non-game species. Here we're at the Freeman Ranch, which is, belongs to the Texas State University at San Marcos. And we have a large area here that's fenced in with high fence and only a water trough at the far corner. And so this is a water guzzler that we put in at the opposite corner, uh, designed to really take care of wildlife water for deer and turkey. There's four ingredients that we want to look at in a wildlife water. First of that is we've got to have some kind of surface that's going to shed the water off. We've got to have some way to funnel that water into a collection tank. Uh, and then we've got to have the storage tank itself. And finally, we've got to have some kind of water trough then to take care of the water for the wildlife. It needs to be large enough that it's going to take care of the species that we're trying to water. It's got to be small enough yet that we don't have so much evaporation of that water. And then finally, it needs to be tough enough that it's going to handle an old pesky raccoon that's trying to reach under there to see what it can find, but not a feral hog because you just can't design anything tough enough for them. You're just going to have to eliminate the hogs themselves. Now, as far as the components, the first thing we look at is a roof, and you may already have something on your range. There may be a rock shelf that uh, funnels water down and sheds water so that you can just divert that into a collection tank. Or you may be able to build some kind of apron out of concrete or out of metal uh, and move that water to a collection tank. Here we're standing under a 20 by 20 roof that's built out of a, a 2 and 7 8 inch pipe with uh, purlins and then a metal roof. Uh, this is a 20 by 20 roof that slopes down to the back side. We have a simple gutter here that just diverts that water down to this one end and then it comes through with a 3 inch PVC pipe uh, coming into this collection tank. Now these tanks can be made out of metal, made out of fiberglass, uh, it could be even made out of a septic tank. But here we have a 1500 gallon polyethylene tank uh, with another one behind it as it overflows when this one fills up it moves into that one. This roof 20 by 20 will shed 240 gallons of water for each one inch of rainfall approximately. And so it's going to take about six inches to fill up this tank and then another six inches to fill up that tank. Now as you move further west, you need to remember that rainfall decreases as we go further west. And it depends on the type of surface that you have, how much water is going to shed off. There's a booklet at TCE Bookstore titled Rainwater Harvesting for Wildlife. And it has in it a number of different designs for roof surfaces, different types of storage tanks, as well as the different kinds of water troughs for your wildlife. Well, this is an area where we're grazing livestock. And so livestock would have a tendency to come in here, drink all the water, and tear up these facilities. And so we have a cattle panel that's built, built around here that's been cut off. And so it will allow the deer and the turkey to jump over or to climb under, but yet still keep the cattle out. Now the last thing that we need to look at is the water trough itself. And it needs to be big enough that it's going to be functional. But with that, we have to we'll be concerned about squirrels and other critters that might fall into here. And so we want to have some kind of material that's going to allow those animals, when they go swimming, to climb back out and get out and not drown. In other locations, we may want to have a very shallow dish that's going to be supplying water for quail. And then this is one that's been designed here, uh, made out of large concrete with a very small area uh, for water so there's very little evaporation. And then it has a float that was just bought at for, for livestock at one of the hardware stores. And then it has a metal cover that's going to keep the raccoons out of it. All of these are designed to take care of wildlife and provide that maybe ingredient that you don't have at your place where water may be, may be limiting. And so this may be what you need to really take care of the habitat on your range.